Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So, uh, moving again with the F-150. Um, decided to upgrade the headlights on it. So, the light bulbs, they just weren't really doing it for me. So, I am kind of planning on doing a, a light bulb swap. So, um, in the previous video you probably saw, I know that light is probably like just fucking up the contrast, like all kinds up, but... Uh, you saw that I got some new headlights for when I do the 18 front end swap, but I had also gotten some of these. So these actually came with some LED bulbs. I'm debating whether or not I want to try these, see how they look, or go with the ones I got. So these, I kind of just got them off Amazon. Um, I think it was Amazon. I can't remember what website I got them off from, but they were, I mean, they're LED light bulbs. They're, they're not really that expensive of a mod but it's something that really makes the world a difference so these look really good so here's the difference between the ones I got so these are made by Aliki <laughs> so Aliki so I guess I like these uh, LED bulbs and then you got these that came with the headlights that I bought so there's a little bit of a difference so I can tell these are definitely going to be brighter just by looking at the LED uh, circuit board you can see that these definitely have a lot bigger of a circuit board than these so I don't know which ones I want to go with I think I'm uh I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with the used ones uh, mainly just so I can see how they work they, they should be the exact same bulb. Actually, I might go ahead and go with the new ones instead. So the new ones have a smaller base to them So because these were missing their back cap. So I'd rather keep the dust cap on. So I'm going to go ahead and try these out. If I don't like them, then I'll swap them out with these. Uh, since I know that these are going to be brighter uh, just by seeing how big they are compared to the other ones. So, pop that guy back in there, go ahead, throw this one in my truck. Alright, so here's pretty much what we're going to be doing. Um, so I already have the fender liner, so it should just be two 5.5 millimeters and a little Christmas tree clip. Um, and you're going to be able to get this. Mine was already missing one of them, so uh, kind of helped me out a little bit. And then you're going to reach up, should be the top bulb, pop up the dust cover, then you'll be able to twist out the bulb and get her out of there. So, you kind of do have to reach in there, so if you have pretty big arms then it might be a little bit difficult for you, but I'm going to try and sneak this guy up there, see how much of a pain it is to get it in there. Alright, so I do have the first one in. Um, it's, it's a little difficult um, because, let me show you with the other one. So they have a little bit of a tail and on the, luckily I have a headlight. You kind of have to sneak your hand in there and plug it in uh, with one hand. But what's crazy, so since these are LEDs, it's a, essentially a light emitting diode. Uh, so what a diode is, it's essentially a check valve um, for electricity. While a regular light bulb is just kind of like a thin wire that as electricity passes it, you know, emits light. Um... But with LEDs, since they're a check valve, you can only plug them in one way. So it even has a little warning sticker that says if there's no power, you got to flip it. Uh, just now I did test it out um, and I didn't notice mine weren't turning on. So I had to go reach back in there with one hand, undo this little clip and pop it out and then flip it over. Um, but before I show you guys how they look, I'm actually going to go ahead and toss these guys in as well. So can't have yellow fog lights or uh halogen fog lights they got to be led as well so it'll be nice and matching Whew. okay so now that was low-key a little bit of a pain in the ass um to get this one out it's just like these clips they just want to keep locking in so i guess my advice is undo the one on the right from the front with like a bodywork tool so pretty much sneak it in and you'll be able to rock it 
and then from the back side you can clip it in with probably like a screwdriver and pry it so here are those little tabs I'm talking about um, that's pretty much where these little ears lock in but not too bad now to get the new one in um, I think this is the correct side let me make sure and it is okay so I'm just gonna steal this little bit of hardware I think they do actually come with new hardware but from what I hear is that the factory hardware is a little bit better than the stuff that this one comes with so I'm gonna compare it see if the factory one is a little bit better if it is then I'm just gonna go ahead and reuse the the original spring um, I think that's what they were saying is that the original springs are a little bit heavier duty than these or these are a little bit harder to compress I don't know but I'll see you and I'll let you know all right so looking from directly underneath the truck there you see the back of the fog light we are gonna have to take off that one screw uh, essentially that is our adjuster um, that will tilt them up and down and then on the fog light itself we have these two pins um, those are essentially just kind of like spring loaded so I do have these you know super old body tools or uh, interior trim removal tools so all you got to do is just stick them in there and it should be able to pop it out uh, loosen it up for that little pin to slide out and then the whole thing should pop out all right so i'm gonna get this guy swapped out super quick and i'll show you the difference between led and halogen and reassembly is as easy as just pushing it in bam just like that and she's locked in so now we just got to put the spring on and go ahead and readjust her so that's why i did not touch that side so i'm actually going to try and adjust the spring as close as i can um, or try and get it centered in here as, as best as I can uh, once I turn on the lights and see where the beam pattern is because I kind of like where it's at so and for the springs the I'm gonna reuse the factory spring it just looks so much beefier it's like twice the thickness of the other ones the other ones are pretty difficult to compress as well but I feel like this is probably you know just made a little bit better than the other one so I'll reuse these all right, so here it is. So this is the difference between the LED and the halogens. You know, pretty much no brainer. Some nice crystal clear white lights and the pattern beam actually isn't, doesn't look too terrible. I do have a little bit of a hot spot um, with the LEDs, uh, but it just looks like they're just gonna be that much brighter. The fog lights though, I love how it's completely nicely cut and it looks like it actually extends a lot further out than the factories so from the truck it looks like we're only getting i would say maybe two more like about a foot and a half two feet and with the aftermarket leds standing right next to it it looks like we're getting about another two feet on top of the factory once so we're getting almost like four almost five feet of width with the aftermarket fog lights so and then they're also a f like great looking fog light so it's nice and smoked should complement the truck uh, with all the black accents um, later I do kind of want to change the accents on the truck to a different color but for now I think I'll just ride out the blacked out look all right so I'm gonna quit talking get the other side done up and see how it is driving at night now all right, I also went ahead and swapped these little license plate lights out as well with LEDs. So now my truck has full LED, so it matches the license plate lights to the taillights. These are factory LED taillights, which I love. I don't think I would ever swap out those taillights. And now we got full LED lights. Uh, fog lights aren't on right now, but I can turn them on. So come in and go ahead and turn them in, turn them on. And then you can actually see that with the fog lights, it actually extends so much further. 
So those are fog lights on, fog lights off, fog lights on, fog lights off. Kind of hard to see. But um, headlights are definitely a lot brighter. Um, later on, I do want to do some kind of nicer switchbacks for the for the mirror lights. So these trucks do have I do have the spotlights on it. Um, I hear that there's a way that you can make it so they stay on all the time but it's not the full spotlight so you're not just blinding people but i don't know or you can make them stay have the spotlight stay on um that way if you're ever cruising like the countryside you actually have quite a bit of light that goes off to the side so i think that's what i'm probably gonna go ahead and do next because that is a free mod as well it just takes a little bit of wiring so let's go ahead and cruise this thing around town see how she looks all right, definitely a noticeable improvement. Um, just kind of cruising the truck around. Let's see, with the fog lights, yeah, huge improvement. <laughs> I can see so much better now. Um, now, when it comes to the traffic, I don't know if these are gonna be super blinding. I did try and adjust them down just a hair, so that way I'm not blinding on coming traffic and I'm not that guy, uh, but from what I can tell, everything's a lot brighter. I don't know if the camera really picks it up all too great, but before everything was like dim. Um, and just, I don't know, I couldn't see as far, but now for sure I can see pretty nicely. So I think it was definitely a worthy mod. All right, I think that is a wrap for tonight. I think she looks sick. Um, especially with the light bar up front. I did not show you guys the light bar because um, I think it's just going to come off. I know that bright light bar works great. It's bright as hell, but I still, I cannot wait till I can find the rest of the pieces to do the 18 front conversion. And I think it'll, the truck will look just that much cleaner, so much nicer with a nice Lariat factory grill. But let me know what you think of the lights. If you would use these lights, so again, the brand is I Likey. So I Likey these LEDs. Um, the fog lights, um, I forget the brand, but it just, it literally just says upgraded LED fog light per lamp set one pair new. Um, yeah, there's, there's zero brand on the box anywhere. So there you can kind of see the part number if you just want to take a screenshot of that of course they're made in china everything's made in china nowadays um but they're great i really like the the fog lights i think are probably a very noticeable improvement um the headlights again i did tone them down just just a hair just so i'm not blinding uh oncoming traffic so but overall everything is a lot brighter and a lot nicer so and i think the truck just looks way better at night now so um, one thing I was a little bit sad about, I was not able to put the little rear cover on, um, but I think that's just kind of nature. So again, using the newer headlights, it's off center to the top, and of course the back end is a lot bigger, so trying to get this little dust cover on there, just, it doesn't work. Plus, my passenger side headlight was actually missing the cover, so, and I never had any issues driving in the rain driving in the dirt, you know, I've been driving in pouring rain now for the past, you know, month. Um, so haven't had any issues there. Haven't seen any condensation or any dust inside the headlight itself. So um, I don't think it'll be that big of a deal, especially living out here in SoCal. There's not a whole lot of dirt anyways. Everything's paved. Um, I don't think it'll be that bad. Um, it, but if they ever do fail, I still have my stock headlights. I'll probably end up tossing them in the truck just in case. Um, if one ever decides to go out or they both go out, I can, you know, probably pull over, stop at an O'Reilly's, pick up whatever socket I need. It's a five and a half millimeter. And I think like a pair of pliers just to pop out that little Christmas tree rivet thing. Um, and then I can just swap out the headlights easy. So I'll just keep them in the, in the glove box at, for an emergency pair. Um, but yeah, so I'll catch you guys later. Let me know what you guys think of the headlights. Would you do this to your car or do you absolutely hate it when other people do it to their cars? So with that, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.